Now the next thing you might want to do is add some form of collectible. So again we can have another sprite. Do a sprite, I'm going to call it coin. Click on there. I'm going to add my coin. So I've got collectible here, I've got a coin. Bring it in there and size it as appropriate. So let's stick in there. Now for the code for this one, now it's not a good idea to have it as a solid because if you do it as solid, your character is going to be able to um, just walk into it. It just doesn't, it doesn't really work very well. I mean, for some things like bricks, like in Mario and things, it makes sense. But if I say it's a solid, I run the game. You just blocked me. So even if I try and make it so it destroys it, you still sort of run the risk when you make it invisible or however you're gonna break your code, have this, you know, coin in the way. So the best way is to just destroy it. So what we can do, we can go to the events, we can say if player one is in collision with the coin, like that, then we can just say coin and then destroy. Like that. So when we run it. You now it gets rid of it, collects it, and then you can add your sound effect or whatever you want to do when you collect. Now another thing we're gonna want to do is make it so we can add some form of score. So to do that, I'm gonna go back to our level, I'm gonna to go to our layers, and I'm gonna go onto my heads up display. I'm gonna add another object and we're going to add some text. So I'll put that there for the score, shall we say. So we can move it later, I'll stick it there so you can see it on that white part, I can move the background down later. And what we're going to do is we're going to set the text to be whatever our current score is. So we're going to create some variables as well. So to do that, we need to make a variable. We need to go ahead and once we've made our variable, we also need to go ahead and make it so it counts the variable up every time. So to do that, we need to make some variables. So we go to the event sheet. We're going to right click here and add a global variable. I'm going to call that score. And the initial value is going to be zero. Press OK. Now, first part's quite easy. We can just click action there. And then we can go to system. And we can add to score by one. So that's going to add one to our score. Now the next thing we want to do is make it so our text object keeps updating. So the next thing we need to do is update our text box. So what we can do is we can go to add event, system, and I'm just going to do it on a timer, so every x seconds, so, so every half a second, we're going to update the score. So we're going to click action, we're going to go to text, and we're going to set text, which hopefully we can find. So set text to be score, and then we can do and our variable like that. So now if we play the game, it should say score up here, hopefully. So we've got the score equals zero. And then when I click this, I walk into this, it goes to one. So that's how I scored it, and that's why it's absolutely fine. Hopefully that was nice and easy. And I'll see you in the next video where we're gonna start looking at adding a little bit more to this game to make it a little bit more interesting.